Hello, hello everyone. So it's time to play with Bratz. That is the featured product for the month of September uh, for Desiree's Crafty Chicks Take On. Uh, so look for lots of uh, layouts using your Bratz this month from all of the Crafty Chicks. I am using um, a winter collection today because I have brads that go with this collection. <laughs> so this is the Snow Day collection from 2016. I'm also gonna be doing a 12 by 12 layout today. I want to use this paper. I love it um, and I haven't used it and it's getting used today. My goal for this page is, my plan is to cover up all of the people. Um, I don't know, not just not really a fan of the people, but I love the uh, snowy background. I love that tree that kind of pokes out. And I have to have somewhere to put my photos and my journaling and, you know, all that stuff. So that is my plan. I've decided that I don't really care for the people and I'm going to take the people out of the equation. And that that provides me with the area that I need to embellish and create a layout around this page. So I'm going to start by doing just a little bit of mixed media on my background paper. So I'm taking this purple tape and I'm covering over the half snowflakes. I don't want half snowflakes. I just want the full ones. And um, this stencil is from Cartabella as well. I actually think maybe it went with this collection. I don't know. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to use the purple tape and I'm going to cover over the half snowflakes. And then I'm going to use some whipped spackle from Faber Castell. And I'm going to go put the whipped spackle through my stencil. I really, really love this stuff. It's kind of pricey though, so I'm super careful with how often I use it and when I use it. And I reserve every last drop of it that I can possibly <laughs> reserve when I use it. Um, and I've actually, this is my second container. My first container um, did last a couple months, so that's pretty good. So I'm just gonna put all of this whipped spackle through the stencil and I'm going to do, I think I move it three times so that it's going to be all around that cut file. So yes, three places so it goes around my cut file and then I'm going to pull it off and I'm going to set it aside to dry. This dries not completely opaque, it's kind of like semi-opaque so it is perfect for this kind of a background where I don't want to cover up everything, right? So I'm going to go ahead and I set that aside to dry and now I'm going to work on the next part of my layout. So remember my goal is to cover up all the people. So what I'm going to do is I have this cut file. This cut file is from Paige Evans. I think they're in her silhouette store. I got them from her Etsy shop, but I'm pretty sure they're in her silhouette store too. And so she has all kinds of gorgeous, gorgeous doilies. Um, and I cut this one and I'm going to use it to back that area of my layout. So I'm taking this paper. This is also from that Cartabella collection. And I'm just going to rough cut it around and then fussy cut it so that the pattern backs the entire cut file. Super easy to do this. I start with just a rough cut and then I'm going to kind of go in and just go under the cut file just a little bit to kind of get all the nooks and crannies cut out. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I want to go ahead and add my photos. I'm going to use three photos and I'm going to back them, back the middle one with a piece of that paper that I used to back the cut file with. So let's talk winter collections. I used to be a crazy winter collection buyer. I bought them all. I love winter and I live in an area of the world where winter starts sometimes as early as mid-October and goes until this past year we went into April before we didn't have snow anymore. Um, which Honestly, it's okay. It does get a little tedious come April when I want to plant and have flowers and warmth, but it's it's okay. I like it. I like the winter. It's all right. So 
Um, I used to buy all the winter collections. And in 2016, I quit buying winter collections. This was the newest one that I had. And I made myself use all my stash. So I have not bought a winter collection in two years. So now I'm kind of looking at winter collections because I'm almost out of this line. And I'm like, hmm, maybe it's time to go ahead and start buying some winter collections. Uh, and I'm thinking about, I really, really like Simple Stories new line, Freezing for a Reason, I think is the name of it. Um, I really like that one, so I think we're going to go ahead and get that one. So I popped my third photo up onto foam squares, and now I'm going to add details to this doily using brads. So for me, this is a great way to use brads. I love to add details to cut files. I think sometimes they get to look a little bit flat. Um, so I like to spice them up with sequins or by painting them or um, anything like that. I like to really add something more than just backing it with paper. So what I'm doing here is I placed a hole in just some little spaces all around the doily, all around this doily, and I'm going to add little uh, brad clusters. I like brads to have a purpose on my page. I don't like them to be like enamel dots really, although this particular layout I did end up using them a little bit in that respect just because there were random hands and feet that I had to cover up with brads because remember we're covering up the people. Um, so I'm just going to go through here and add these little brad touches to my cut file and I'm not putting any on the right side because I'm going to kind of place that off the page and I'm going to cut it off anyway. So you see here how I'm going to place my my doily there and I'm going to cut it off and then okay then we have to deal with embellishing and deciding where and how we're going to embellish this page. Uh, so here's the story there's a story. Yes, indeed. Um, I use, when I have a collection and I start to really use it, I use all the icons first. All the icon stickers, all the icon die cuts. I even have a chipboard to go with this, which tells you how long ago I bought it because I have since sworn off chip, chipboard. Um, but I end up with all these words. I Too many words. So I'm going to have to play a little bit with my um, embellishing and it, I still feel like there's too many words on this layout, <laughs> but you yeah, know, it's okay. Um, I wanted more snowflakes, more snowflake icons um, and less words. So I initially really wanted to use this cut which was a cut file from the cut shop. I really wanted to use it, but um, once I start going through my embellishments and, and I don't have icons, I just have words, I end up not using it because it just was, it was getting too wordy, just too much words. And I thought about using this beside the photo of my son because he's making a snow angel, but it just, I don't know. I put it there for a while, but it wasn't really doing it for me. Um, and see, even there, I don't really like it. I think it clashes. This collection has, it's weird. It's like cream based and vintagey, but then there's like bright white pieces in it and it's odd. I love it. I loved it when I bought it. Two years later, I'm kind of like, let's get rid of it and get it out of my stash. But, <laughs> right? You know, it happens. Um, but I still really like it and I loved this paper. I really wanted to use this paper. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go around here. Yes, I put chipboard on this layout because look, I have all the chipboard <laughs> still left over after two years. Um, so I'm going through everything, all of everything. So I have words, I've got pieces there. And again, how funny, the point of this is just to use up and cover the people. <laughs> um, I'm going to end up punching some circles just because the doily is a circle and the snowflakes are circles and I pulled a little bit of a circle chipboard piece out and so I decide we need some circles. 
So when I started to go through all these scraps and bits and bobs from this collection, I found that I had put, I must have had just like a random sheet of cabin fever. Maybe I got it in a kit or anyway, something. I had ended up with just this one random sheet of cabin fever paper and I put it into my collection here. Um, it doesn't go with that. It goes with another Cardabella collection. But I decided that we have that nice brown tree in our background, so a brown element would work and my circle punch would cut snowflakes in circles and we have the circle doily so i'm going to go ahead and grab a couple of circles from that collection which pulls in the brown from the background kind of warms the page up a little bit and i thought it was a nice addition to the page and so yeah when all else fails add a circle that's really mm -hmm, it's true uh, so I'm going to go through here and I'm going to add some circles and continue to build these clusters up. I pulled a frame. Oh, I just smacked my knee on my table. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to cut that frame that you see up in the top right of my page. It looks like, um, it's like a navy blue. I'm going to use that to kind of ground a cluster up there, up at the top. And this is where I decide, no way. No, I can't do it. It's not going to work. It's going to cover up the little snowman that's peeking out. We're just going to skip it. And so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to kind of fussy cut this frame. Yeah, I had tons of frames too, which, you know, in my head, I like frames. In my head, I want to use frames. I see other people make amazing layouts with frames. And then I get to the point where I'm like, okay, I'm going to use a frame. And what do I do? I cut it into pieces and tuck it in <laughs> and don't actually use it as a frame. Don't ask me why. Apparently I'm a little frame challenged. And there's a the chipboard. Yeah, we put it there. It's all right. It looks good. It's okay. It was an icon. Like I just, I had no more like icon type stuff, image type stickers and stuff. I just said words. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to completely go through here, glue everything down, and then... So, I still have some random people parts poking through. Like, there's a little, like, hands and a little foot. And I actually don't see the foot until after I turn the camera off. Uh, so, down there where you see a little foot, I'm going to put a circle. <laughs> another punch circle. But uh, to cover up these random body parts that are poking around, because I don't want people... I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sprinkle some brads around the layout. I'm also doing this because I had steered away from all of the red, but I had ended up with a couple little shots of it. It's in the collection. It's in a lot of the collection, but I had ended up with just these little shots of red. Um, and so I wanted to add a red, that red brad up to the top to add, to kind of bring the red, just little bits of it through the layout so it doesn't look like it's completely out of place. Um, and so then I decided I was gonna go ahead and kind of add some brads to some little areas. And this helped pull the red through a little bit more so to make sure it was in three places on my layout. And it also covered up the random people parts that were poking out from behind my embellishment clusters. And yeah, that's gonna complete this. I hope that you have an idea for some brads maybe. I've used a ton of them. I think I used eight on the on the cut file for sure. And then I had some random ones I added in the end. So definitely more than eight. Um, but adding them to a cut file like that is a really great technique. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you will check out everyone else's videos throughout the month. And I would love for you to give this video a like or leave me a comment. I always enjoy reading the comments. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will see you all again soon. Bye.